Hello everyone, it's Saturday morning. Eric and I made these awesome sourdough bagels last week and we are about to make another batch and wanted to bring you along. So let's get started. First thing you're gonna need is a sourdough starter. This is our sourdough starter and you can tell it's very bubbly. You want it to be very active for this recipe. So the first step is to grab a mixing bowl and then you're gonna need one and a quarter cup of water. Next we want a tablespoon of salt. Now we're going to add two cups of our sourdough starter. So you want to mix that in just a little bit. Next we want one tablespoon of olive oil. Go ahead and mix that. For our flour we use a combination of half wheat and half unbleached all-purpose white flour. And lastly we want five and a half to six cups flour. So I'm gonna introduce one cup in at a time. So now that this is starting to not taking much more flour, I'm going to move this bowl and put some flour down. So now that I've got the dough here, I'm just going to sprinkle a little more flour on top. Make sure to keep some extra flour handy. So you can tell the dough is getting more incorporated with that flour, and I think we're shy about a cup of flour, but that's okay. So we probably used a total of five. This flour is much denser, so if you use like a higher protein flour, you may find that that's the case. Okay, now that we are finished, I probably needed it for four minutes or so. You can tell it's getting a little smoother or elastic. We're gonna roll it into a ball. We're gonna put it back now into the same bowl with a little bit of flour, or you could use a little bit of oil so it doesn't stick and we're going to let that sit for four hours now. So I went ahead and put a damp towel over the dough, and what we're gonna do is let this sit in a warm area of our house, again, for four to six hours. So it's been five hours since we let our dough rise. You can see it's risen quite a bit. Okay, so we got this dough rolled out of that bowl. I'm just gonna kinda put it in a ball, and then what I'm gonna do is smush it down just a little bit, and now it is time to divide this dough. So we want to make 12 bagels. And then you want to rip it off and just kind of roll it into a ball first. Okay, now that we've got this rolled out, we're going to pinch a hole in the middle and you want to just gently stretch out the dough. I'm going to leave it about there. They do shrink back a little bit, but that's good to me, so I'm going to leave that at that size. And we're gonna put it down on a floured surface so it doesn't stick. We will go ahead and finish the rest of these up and show you what they look like when we're done. Okay, I tried to get these all about the same size. We got 12 bagels and we are going to let them sit now for an hour before we do anything with them. We let these little bagels rise for one hour and we now are going to boil them and I'm going to plop one in first by itself. You only let them boil about 30 seconds or so on each side. Boiling the bagels not only gives them that chewy consistency that we're so familiar with but also that coating on the outside. There we go. We're going to finish these up and then we're going to let them dry for a moment before we put our toppings on. We already preheated the oven to 450 as these bagels are just kind of drying off. We don't wanna let them wait too long before you bake them. And these are our ingredients that we are using. We're doing four different kinds today. So first up is going to be a garlic sea salt bagel. We're gonna do a pesto bagel. This is marinara and mozzarella. And then we're gonna do a jalapeno cheddar. So we went ahead and put four bagels on this tray and we did put foil down and just greased it a little bit so the bagels don't stick. We're gonna make each bagel on this tray to show all the four kinds we're making. This is just olive oil, and we're doing that to put some garlic on top, and then a pinch of sea salt and garlic powder. Next up, I have pesto. This is garlic scape pesto. Then we have marinara, or pasta sauce, going for a pizza bagel. 
And lastly, we have cheddar jalapeno. We are going to cook these now for 15 to 20 minutes. Thanks again for watching. We found last time we ate these that they didn't need cream cheese. Of course, feel free to add cream cheese, but they were very good on their own.